All right, what is up, YouTube? We are back. We got another video today, and this time we are reviewing The Boys Presents Diabolical Season 1. Uh, we just wrapped it up. You can check out our reactions. Uh, we did like two parts to it, um, and pretty much the entire season we just split it up into two. Um, overall, I know we kind of talked about it briefly then, but like overall, like uh, what did you think of this? Like, su pleasant surprise, you know, even more? Like, what, what was it? Like, I'd say it was a very pleasant surprise. Yeah. A lot of different creators from the world of animation were involved in this one. Really, really fun to watch. Each episode wasn't too much of an overload. You only had maybe 14, 15 minutes each, mm -hmm. but really, really entertaining, really funny in some parts. Definitely a lot of gore to be expected from the boys, but this yeah. had something for every fan. I would definitely recommend watching it. In comparison to other anime series you've watched, like, like, like where, yeah, like just where, where does it like compare to those? Cause like, I've watched like a lot of anime series in my life. Like obviously like the Star Wars ones, just like everything. And just like, I've never seen something like this before. Yeah. Uh, it's never like. <laughs> yeah, no, something, different but with all sorts of different creative styles so it has something for really every fan yeah but uh you can definitely see where a lot of the influence yeah. is coming from i mean i loved uh justin Roiland's episode definitely a lot of rick and morty vibes there where it was absolutely ridiculous but really yeah. really funny so that was probably my favorite of the whole group yeah i know you're mentioning how like everybody came together to make this mm -hmm. i think that's the coolest thing because i think everybody got their own take on what they think the boys is and what it could be in the universe yeah i think this is kind of like almost an experiment i think it is, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I think that's so cool because I think like, well, they did that with Star Wars Visions as well. Yeah, but because I, there's so much different content they mm -hmm. can draw from and a lot of different ideas and influences, but you also have the creativity of everybody that chips in and mm -hmm. like, you can only imagine the amount of fun that it would have had in the writer's room or in the production studio where they're just brainstorming all these ideas and coming up with these like ridiculous scenarios and different characters. Like, like they really knocked it out of the park. Like that poop fucking thing? Like, like that was the funniest fucking thing. A superpower of being able to harness shit like wow booby face and booby face <laughs> or even speaker dude where Boombox. his one song that he can play is only want to be with you by hootie and the blowfish like, like wow so, so funny like right? like just that's what I'm like, like i don't know like was this shit in the comics that's what i don't know like let's know down below if uh, like these like characters were in the comics because but if they just made this up straight up that is fucking hilarious like yeah just like genius like, oh absolutely yeah just just, super super funny 100 percent. just all the callbacks i think like what do you think of like the um, like would you have liked it to be a little bit longer like the episodes or was just like or was just right like this is, i like, think it was just right i yeah. think it was definitely enough to keep you engaged for the whole episode i think it was definitely enough to have still a really good storyline uh, without yeah. having it too complex or anything. Yeah. I think it had something for for every fan, but I think it was uh, just like a good drink. It just goes down well, it's smooth, and you're ready for the next one. Yeah, no, I just think, uh, you know, I, th I think this was kind of ballsy, like, doing this show. Cause you don't know how it's going to be received, right? Because it's kind of... Right. Because like, yeah. you know the hardcore boys guys are going to Yeah, like, you, you, you get some, off, like, right? crazy fanboys who might think it's a little over the top or a little ridiculous, but... Yeah. Isn't that what the show kind of is? A lot of right. it is over the top and ridiculous in some ways. Yeah, because because the boys kind of like took over when it came out, right? Because it was kind of like it's like we've never seen it before. Like it's literally like yeah, Avengers, it was like, Avengers but flipped. yeah, like, honestly, yeah, it was a, it was a very creative take on something that a lot of people were very familiar with because Marvel and the MCU, and this is also time too when the show is really coming out. I think right before the pandemic like all kicked off, so. Of course, yeah. people have nothing better to do but to sit around and just kind of binge watch and streaming services all day. Exactly. So it just made sense. Yeah, no, 100%. I think, like, it just proves just to see, like, like, I know, I remember I was mentioning you off camera just saying, like, just the power of now, just, like, the spinoffs, the universes. Like, yeah. You just see, like, how they can dive into that, like, with anything. Like, right. anything you watch, like, say I watch Money Heist, I watch, like, Star Wars as well, like, just, like, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, they and, really are. Yeah, and I... The one thing I do hope is like they kind of just like people don't forget about original content as well. But exactly. If, but then if they're doing all these spin of these universes, like how much content are we going to get in this world? Yeah. Like, so like, it, does it like saturate it? Is it too much like of an overload? Does it take away from the value of yeah. like the mother franchise, if you will? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but I think like making a universe almost is very marketable. It's yeah, you know, it's just very like long term makes sense. But and that's exactly what they want to do. They just yeah. want to keep fans engaged. They want them to keep buying into the content trying new things and yeah. just keeping the views up. I'd like to see, like, is there any characters you see in this that, like, survived their stories that you would like to see, like, kind of in, like, a live action that's uh, de possible? Definitely, definitely poop. Yeah, definitely oh, I poop. Want, I want to see a little poop. How the hell would they make that live action, though? That, that's crazy. <laughs> that, definitely some really wild CGI, and I, I, I would just think the 
animation artist that was creating that. Like, how do you keep a straight face just creating all the movements of that character, right? Oh, I know. Straight up, how'd they make that episode, honestly, without yeah. fucking pissing their pants? Like, For real, you think, like, it's, like, the frames would be way more jittery just from I know. them laughing, like, trying to keep the camera still or just holding all the frames in place. And I remember when we were talking about in the, in the, the reaction to, to the, the back half, we are talking about how, like, Andy Samberg did that second last episode. Meanwhile, I would have thought Andy Samberg would have did that. Like, like Yeah, we... that was a total curveball. Yeah. Um, obviously, without spoiling that one too much, it was definitely a surprise to see <laughs> him have an influence on that with that kind of story. But it was still pretty cool. I know, I know. Just, like, Andy Samberg goes the emotional route, the deep route. Like, yeah. And, and also, Ian, even in that same poop episode, the deep... I actually really liked how he was like portrayed. Actually, it was kind of yeah. sick. Like, yeah, where it's like another subplot of him trying to get back into the seven. Yeah, yeah, because they're continuing that story, which, like, you don't want to forget that because that's still going on. Right? It's still very in, much in a real thing. Time, yeah. Right? Any any negative you've seen in this that like you can highlight at all, like in any of this? I think seeing some of the other characters would have been nice. Like, I think it was very soup centric. I yeah. think it would have been nice to see a little bit more from Frenchy, a little bit more from Billy Butcher, Kamiko, Kamiko. Yeah. Gone in all eight. Nothing. Which is wild, especially when you see at least two or three episodes here. There's like no Starlight. The Japanese anime. There's no Starlight. It was just that. Yeah, that. she had like their one little poster there and stuff, but I'm like, dude, you can make time for a subliminal Amazon van in one of them, <laughs> but like none of those three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We got a problem. I never agree with the gripe there, but my gripe, I know you'd agree with this. Mm -hmm. Obviously, maybe you didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. There was no Church of the Collective. There's no Fresca. Okay, yes. so like, wh what are we doing here? Like, right. Come on, guys. Like, Amazon Prime Video. Like, 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 what, what are we doing? I know. No milk. No mother's milk either. No dude. mother's milk. <laughs> what? Do they even exist? Like, <laughs> apparently not in this uh, alternate universe. I guess, but I guess it was good to highlight other characters as well, right? Like, it was, yeah. It was, right? Like, not just that's what the boys is for originally. Exactly. But, um, but before we wrap it up. Um, what was, uh, I'm going to ask, what is what was your favorite episode and what was your season rating? So, like we usually do on the reviews, so. Favorite episode? Definitely the Rick and Morty one. Okay. That's my, that's okay. my preference. So, what was okay. that, episode two or three? Two. two. Okay, episode two. So, episode two. Overall rating for uh, the first season, I'm going to give it a nine. Um, very high up. few little small things that kept it at a perfect ten, but no things should ever be a perfect ten anyway. Everything's going to have its little falls and little things like that. Mm -hmm. But I would definitely give it a solid nine. Man, there's so many funny episodes in it, but honestly, like, I might, it's between the Rick and Morty and the poop episode. Yes. But I think I might have to say Rick and Morty because, like, I was dying. Like, right. that, like that, that was, like. Yeah, those, those definitely had the most over-the-top characters with just pure, like, purely funny. Like, that was, like, literally the Suicide Squad of the boys. Like, yeah. Um, as well, I think, um, I gave a lot of things between, like, nine and nine and a half, so I'm going to give, like, a 9.2 out of 10. Like, oh, use okay. A decimal so point. it's like a nine and a quarter. Okay. Exactly. 9.25. Yeah, yeah. I, like I know. It. My buddy Andre started those decimals down. Oh, like, now I'm on wow. that bandwagon now. So. Yeah, the rate of inflation, we got to go with uh, fractions and yeah, decimal I mean, points even more. Yeah, I mean, there's decimals. <laughs> Everything's rounded up now. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but... Um, but yeah, guys, that was super fun talking. Talking, obviously, I, I think that was a fun experience. Obviously, being able to watch. Very that. fun. When the boys come out, we can have like a over like a weekly watch party. Yeah, that'd be really cool, right? That'd be really good. So honestly, because uh, the boys is an event in itself. So it is, and as we all know, Saturdays are for the boys. Exactly right, and I think it comes out on Fridays. So even so better. Perfect. So yeah. You, you chill on Friday night, get your fix uh, for Saturday, and get ready for the next week. We're fucking. We're mint, man. We're mint. Exactly. We're mint, but. Uh, Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to let us know what you thought of The Boys Presents Diabolical. Do you want to see a second season? What did you think overall? Give us your season rating. Tell me if I'm fucking straight up wrong. Tell Damon if he's a fucking mort. Bello. Like, like, like just, just tell us, you know what I mean? And maybe we can argue with you in the comments. It'd be really, really fun to do, right? So I love arguing in the comments section. It's it's what we do in the 21st century. Yeah, exactly. That's all we, we don't know how to speak to each other, but that's yeah. what we speak in the comments section. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, guys, don't forget, obviously, before you leave, if you enjoyed this sort of content, you want to see more of Damon, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell down below as well. That's the only way to tell us, and you'll be notified the next time you see Damon. So, like, it just, I think it's a win-win to, to click that bell, right? So Absolutely. Get your Damon alert in. Anyways, guys, thank you all for tuning in to our review of The Boys Presents Diabolical Season 1. We'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully you see us this summer with The Boys. Take it easy, guys.